Today we're making Korean gochujang chicken wings using the sous vide technique. I've got eight wings here. We're going to let the gochujang, if that's how you say it, we're going to let the sauce do all the flavor. All I'm going to do on these wings before we put them in the sous vide water bath is just salt and pepper, nothing else. Okay, so as soon as I get the salt and pepper on both sides, I'm going to get these in our bag for the sous vide bath. I've got everything all salted and peppered up. I've got my bag here, bigger than I need, but hey, it always is, right? I can never, these bags are pre-cut, so. Just gonna get these guys in the bag. Gonna take them. Um, once I get them all in here, then what I'm gonna do is take my vacuum sealer and get them all sealed up. Okay, for our water bath today with this ANOVA, we're going to go 145 degrees F for two hours. Got my chicken wings here. Just going to get them down in here, clip them to the side so that they stay out of the uh, intake on this ANOVA. Okay, we got about 10 minutes before these wings are uh, ready. So what I've got here is a tablespoon each of fish sauce, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and then the star of this recipe is this gochujang hot and sweet sauce. I got that at the big box store that uh, is near every single home in America. We've got one third of a cup of this sauce, this gochujang. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, but it's kind of fun to say. All right, what I've got here is a tablespoon of fresh minced ginger, and I've got a half a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay, we're gonna get this mixed in real nice. Then the other thing we want here is about two tablespoons of honey. Okay, you put a little more in, no problemo. All right, now this is only gonna take two, three, maybe five minutes. What we want to do is just simmer it. Let all these flavors marry together. And then as soon as those wings are done here, probably, uh, I don't know, 12 minutes, I think, uh, 10 minutes, we're gonna toss them in this sauce. Uh, but I guess before we toss them in the sauce, I'll show you how we'll finish those wings first. It's been two hours. We're gonna turn our ANOVA off. All right. Let me get this clip off here. What I'm going to do is put these on top of the grill for just a couple of minutes on each side just to get some nice grill marks, get some uh, caramelization going. Um, you could also put these in your oven on broil. So I got my grill up on high. Like I said, you could put these in the oven under your broiler. You could even put them in some oil in a pan on your stove. I don't like to be inside, so I'm going to do these on the grill. Just gonna take a couple minutes on each side. We're just gonna brown them up. That's all we're gonna do. I've got the grill set on high. I've got this burner off just in case I get some flare ups, I can move them over. Keep these guys turned over. Won't take them very long at all, like I said. We're, all we're trying to do is just get them a little bit brown. That's the way I like those wings. They should already be nice and tender and juicy from the sous vide cook. All right, you can see we've got some nice color. Now we're just going to turn this grill off. We've got that gochujang sauce we made. Just going to put each of these wings in that sauce. All right? Look at the color on these guys. Okay. Then you just want to, you know, stir it up just like you would any other wing you make. Get these guys good and coated in that gochujang sauce. Okay, we've got our wings here, all tossed in that gochujang sauce. Look at the color on these guys, will you? Pretty awesome. Okay. There you have some gochujang wings. Now, 
I'm going to finish these off is I've got some um, sesame seeds here. And we're just going to sprinkle a little on. little crunch, little collar. Huh? What do you think? You think it looks better? Okay. Not too many, right? And then the final thing is I just got a little green onion. Uh, just the green, the top, that I uh, chopped up kind of finely. Um, I think I've got six wings here, two more on the side. Um, I think it was like maybe even just one onion, right? Now look at the color of that, will you? Now I've got a little lime. Just going to, just a little lime juice right on top, okay? Yeah, I'm going to let these guys cool down two minutes. That's all I'm going to be able to do. And then I'm going to give one a try. We've got our wings here. These wings are beautiful. I mean, these just cosmetically speaking might be the most beautiful wings I've ever made. All right, let's give this a try. Holy crap, that's good. All right, I gotta be honest with you. When I started this out, I was wondering why I would do wings sous vide. I love to grill wings and I love to smoke wings. Why would I do them sous vide? The texture on these wings is incredible. Um, there's a pull when you take a bite, but underneath it's this juicy, soft meat the outside's incredible. That gochujang sauce, awesome. Spicy, a little bit. Not like going to blow your head off, but it's probably on a scale of uh, 1 to 10. It's probably a 3, a 2 and a half. These wings are incredibly flavorful. Juicy. I, 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 I would definitely make these again using this sous vide technique. Hey, if you're not a subscriber already, I hope you hit that armadillo pepper icon up there in the corner. Um, if you've got any questions or comments about this video, just leave them below.